Hey guys, and welcome back to another achievement campaign run. Today we're doing Blood on the Riverbank, where the challenge is, with the help of my sisters, to amass an army of at least 100 Gebetto Warriors. I used to be able to get infinite Gebetto Warriors, but maybe that's been patched and there's a limit on it now? Anyway, we'll see. A beast is most dangerous when cornered. Suman Guru was no different. He struck southward into the Mandinka heartland, where he had slaughtered Sumjata's family before. He was rumored to have brought his mystical balafon with him to summon victory, and griots were already singing that the war had been won by the sorcerer before it had even begun. Sumjata met him by the Niger River at a place called Kirina. A long line of Soso and Jolof warriors stood tall, banging their shields and grinning at the soldiers of Sumjata's coalition. Horses and camels brought to the field of battle kicked up in all sand to shroud the sun at noon. Sumanguru himself took to the field in the dusty twilight, and Sunjata faced him from across the hot expanse. As the armies prepared to charge, the music of a balafon began to flow through the air. The decisive moment was at hand, and all of West Africa awaited the victor. Okay, so we need to defeat the Army of Bread. Hints, uh, 125 population, and can go to the Imperial Age. Uh, Mema and Fakuli were forced to fight for the Soso, however, spies report that once they may be willing... However, spies report that once they may be willing to change sides if they think that Sunjata has a chance against Sumangu. There is very little wood in this region, and the only way to secure more is by protecting the trade outpost. If your enemies destroy it, your task will be much harder. At first, the Malians do not have the support of the Gebetto warriors, but the Memma's princess is a renowned Gebetto fighter. Perhaps you can convince her and her warriors to join you. And let's see, Sunjata has a small camp set up in the east on the edge of the desert. There are a few resources in the region, but there are some to the east of the Mali camp. The Mima to the north are vassals of Subaguru, and he holds their princess hostage to ensure their loyalty. They trade camel riders, swordsmen, battering rams, and in some cases, camel archers. Like the Memma, the Fakoli to the south are very unhappy with the harsh uh, Sosu rule and will rebel if given the chance. They feel an army of crossbowmen, light cavalry, and mangonels. Across the river to the west are the fortifications of the Sosu. The Sosu army relies on castles for their defense and field a powerful combination of camel riders, pikemen, shoto warriors, and siege weapons. So let's see. The, so the Mima are the ones whose princess we need to rescue in order to gain their better warriors okay so we start out in the castle age with berries that are not adjacent to the town center we don't have a mill anywhere and we need to keep this trade outpost safe so i think a second tc maybe to secure a wood between those deserts and that wood would be nice so let's go out there. Gone 125, and we are the Malians. So I guess some knights, we don't have a stable. Knights and camels would probably be good. Crossbows could also be good, but then we don't have Arbalest if we go to Imp. But if our enemies are training camels, yeah, maybe we don't want to rely on a unit that costs wood. You can also try out the Bracelet Mali and CA. Okay, so they are enemy right now. Uh, take that animal out. There is very little in this region. The only way we can get more is by transporting it over the river. But the river is guarded by the Sosa Towers. We should destroy all five of them. Okay, destroy all five of those towers. You guys can take out the first one. Hopefully, what, what are they? Guard towers. And they're in imp, so they will have... Nope, we can't do that. They will have murder holes. There is very little wood around here. Some fish there. A lumber camp for the wood upgrade would probably be nice. Where am I being attacked? That outpost. Let's 
Let's send you guys to wood two. We'll explore a bit before we put down buildings. Oh, we can lure that elephant. Oh, there's one zebra down there. Some stone. All right. Keep exploring. There we go. Nice and simple when we have loom already. I'd like to find some more wood to get a TC on. Maybe down here. Yeah, that's nice. There's more resources in the middle of nowhere. Reminds me of the map from that final Tamu Lane scenario. I'll do some hand cart. Might be a bit too early for that, but well. Start getting houses out there and then maybe we'll go to a stable. Don't think we need to train our own Gebetta warriors. They are... Okay, that watchtower is shooting at me. Oh, Garrison. I want to be friends with you. Don't attack me, please. Oh, that's a raiding party of scouts and archers. Put my houses back here. Now you guys get into that tower. Yeah, the tower will just defend that nice and simply for us. Okay, they're just gonna let themselves die to it. Would upgrade would be nice. Alright, not much else going on. We're just booming up now. I think we'll have to... Let me get some rams out to deal with those towers, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Get a siege workshop forward there. I'm tempted to want to build farms. If you have any idols, yeah, you go build the siege workshop too. Okay, now we just boom for a bit. We should probably mine some gold sometime soon. And a mill would also be nice, if only because I'll want to queue farms later. I oh, lost my hockey. There you go. Let's get some rams. And just take that gold. Why not? And maybe another siege workshop actually, just to get the rams faster. Looks like the shallows there. Let's just try to scout this water. They'll have ballistics since they started an amp. Oh, there's more gold down there. At least some houses soon. Still not used to that shift queuing. Can I build a dock? Oh, I can. I could fish down there. Fishing sounds like it would be nice. Let's get a couple more rams going. Actually, do we have to do hand cart before we make farms? Oh, there's crossbows now. Don't think I can fight them with men at arms. Oh, 
Oh, and men at arms. I can fight those with men at arms. There we go. Teach them a lesson with our men at arms. And men at arms attacking a town center is probably not the best idea. Oh, now they're going for the tower. Oh, they see the villager. Town center should clean that up. And let's go, Rams, take out that tower. You guys are running away. Garrison the tower. One too many. Okay, you guys start moving across. Yeah, I kind of want villagers here just for purposes of protecting that area if they try to hit the towers. Try to dock here. I see lots of fish. I'm not too worried about one boat. Do we have a blacksmith? We don't. Let's build a blacksmith. And now we are really running out of wood. Up, oh, there's a boat there. Let's see if we can use the scout to kill the boat and distract the villager. Have to dodge some ballistic shots. Okay, scout will not win that. We'll need some mangonels to dance with it. Unless it decides just to leave the villager alone. Uh, can we, we can kill that tower. That one might not have a clear path to it, though. Uh, I need this gather point to be on something useful. Oh, okay. Now they have halves there. I don't like seeing halves. I think it's actually crossbow time then. As long as the help doesn't go for the rams, then we're good. Maybe we can just get across the shallows down to there. That dock is halfway built, but I'm also worried about that help. You guys go down to that tower. Can you path to it? Come on, rams. You can do it. You can attack the buildings I tell you to attack. Oh, help dodges the Meganel shots. And we're being attacked here. Garrison the tower again. Get in the TC. Go that way and make an L shot. Nope, I'm going to lose two Megan L's to one help. Or unless I bring my Venet arms forward to teach it a lesson. At the Rams slowly but surely. <laughs> Almost making their way to that tower. Let's go, Manganels. You can do this. You can get one help. Or an ostrich, one of them. Oh, I think we almost did damage to it. Where are those men at arms? Okay, Rams, down to that tower. We've almost gotten it. Now the sending Shotel Warriors. I definitely need more crossbows and. I we'll definitely need a few more ranges then. We'll go heavy into crossbows and we need a university for the crossbows. There you go, guard tower is going up. And now we can send more villages to build that dock. Now that the men at arms are there to protect it. And I hope all oh, they have Shotel warriors there. Ah, oh, so close to being destroyed and we might not make it. Okay, I think it's actually... We can probably focus on clicking up soon. I don't see any relics, so I'm not going to bother with the monastery. Let's just add another mining camp out there. And they're not going to make that the show tells are going to take the rams out way ahead of time. Okay, looks like we will actually need some fire ships. Let's just chop wood over there. And think about clicking up. So now we have chopped all of the wood. 
Almost there, it's a bit more gold. We don't have a market. And those are galleons. Those are imperial lead ships. Okay. Well, they have Treb out. Ah, uh, dock up here then. Where are the rest of my crossbows? I need a market. Did I build two markets? I might have. Okay, that's a good number of heavy camels. Quick wall this villager in. Keep them safe. There we are. Looks like those mangonels were not working. And click up. Great. Thumb ring. Where is that market? Come on. I'll sell some food to do ballistics. And queue up more archers. That would also be nice. Gear us in that tower again. And we can use the crossbows to help defend this time, actually. Okay, we have a few fire ships working here. We have a lot of trade force to be burned to the ground. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Need, <laughs> I didn't even notice they were under attack. I thought those camels were going for me. Okay, I should definitely have walled that and those shallows. But that did not happen. Okay. Uh, no wood then. We want to draw up the social cloak, but cannot do so whilst Mangura gives my daughter a hostage. Save her and we will fight for you. Okay, that's how we get the Gebetto Warriors then. You know what we're gonna do? We're going to trap them. I don't know if we can. Trap them in there. Oh, that's gonna be way too hard. Nah, I can't do all of that. Oh, but maybe. Oh, maybe. No idea. Can we do a dock block? And then another dock there. Oh, they have a scorpion. I need to take out a scorpion somehow. Okay, they are our ally. Oh, we can get to them through their base. Perfect. Uh, get some more capped rams going. Do the best we can with Mali and Arbs. Okay, Rams run away. Gonna need more herbs. Champions would also kind of work here. I just I actually prefer having an archer unit though. Hey, okay, Molly traders that we were supposed to defend, we did not get a notification they were under attack. So we kind of let them die. Oh well. This looks not very well defended though, just a few Shotel warriors, so hopefully we can push that. Oh, are they going to attack it too? Um, I feel like maybe selling stone for gold could work. Uh, let's not do kills, just still try to get an army of Arbalest. We have grown tired of Sumanguru and will join your side, almighty oh, Sunjata. But the mere sum of 1,000 gold. Merely 1,000 gold. Okay, let's sell food and see if we can do that. Yes, we can. Thank you for the gold. Now, if you build the castle in our town what? so we can defend ourselves against Sumanguru, we will honor our agreement. You have ten. What? Minutes. That was not part of the agreement. Okay, we'll need to buy some stone then. How much stone's there? 140. We have 10 minutes to build a castle. We got treadmill crane. 
Uh, I should I need to bring my arms back to defend. Oh yeah, I, I definitely need to bring my arms back arms back to defend. We have lots of wood though. Okay, these hills. Build a castle right on that flag. And you just go on those farms. Okay. Oh, uh, will, will you attack those scorpions for me? That would be amazing if you could. Let's get a couple of bombard cannons out there. Looks like you're just gonna run around and not actually attack the scorpions. Let's take the hill at least and take out that scorpion. Oh, it's a treb. I don't like trebs. I wish these arms had bracer. Just keep climbing up the hill. And we should win that. Okay, we're almost at the point where oh, do not attack and kill my rams before I'm ready, please. Uh, how can we protect those rams? Uh, quick gates around the rams. There you go, hopefully that is protected. Okay, good, they don't know how to deal with quick gates. Okay, let's take out that treb. And they're going for my siege workshop, which we can repair. Perfect. Uh, you guys go to that gold. I need to take that gold earlier. Let's just rebuild a mill on those farms. And yeah, maybe conscription would be nice. They're really using that market shit on guilds earlier, probably. I'm trying to kill my mill. No. Okay, Arbs, no. Let's hope that we quickly can come. Oh, don't. God oh, dang it, they're gonna get to the Rams. No. Okay, well, at least we'll have bombard cannons. Because these guys aren't gonna try to save me when I'm attempting to save their princess. Oh, yes, there's wood down there. I go to the wood too. So used to building houses after farms. Oh, oh they go by bombard cannons. Oh, or no, one's alive. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, what, what, what's everyone doing here? You're all coming to this location, but not fighting anything. Oh, but oh, the rhyme survived, but now they're dying. I should get moving them. Um, okay, uh, more siege workshop time. Oh, I do have one there. Let's go for bombard cannons. Okay, let's try to take out that guard tower with these bombard cannons. And hope that while I do that, I don't get attacked. Ooh, we would have one ram that survived. It's a fortified wall. Oof. What's over here? Just nothing? Okay, you guys are up to imp. Okay, we're going to need to do some dancing with boats then. It's good thing we have the ram there. Bring the ram back. Let's take this hill and just kind of fight in this choke point here on the hill. I'll probably lose more cannons, oh well. Oh, that didn't go too badly. 
I need the cannon somehow to help focus down the ships because ships will not die very quickly to arbs. Uh, the arbs are doing okay. We might need to start going for at least skirmishes though. We're really struggling for gold. Actually, we really just need to mine more gold. There's plenty of gold out here we can mine. Actually, we'll go back to this one instead. That's, it looks a bit safer. Okay, bombard cannons, fire at the ships, please. Okay, yes, we actually hit one. Okay, we hit another one. <sighs> Whew. Took them out. Now we just have the occasional halb coming this way. We've chopped legit all of the wood. <laughs> That's okay, we have enough wood stockpiled, we don't really need more. And we could- oh, we can't make our own gabettos, we can only get them from over there. Let's just maybe get some trebs. Ready. And the recording is just so that we actually protect the castles we do have. And we have quite a few bombard cannons. And we need to make sure nothing happens to them. And there's still an occasional help coming out of that barracks, so we should deal with it. And a show tell from down there. This is the classic units only come from one production building at a time strategy. Not the most realistic of ways to train units, but it seems to be a common one. Okay, go for that tower. Some of you go for the ship, please. Oh, we have one over there going for it. If all of you go for the ship, eventually you have to hit it, right? Let's just kind of lay down a firing pattern of attack grounds. But how did that guy die there? There go all of my arbalest. Let's just try to take out that castle. Okay, at least you can kind of distract him. Oh, yes, you hit him. As long as it's the high HP ones that are taking the shots from the ships, Let's try to manage them a little. Oh, yes, we got the ship. Perfect. Now, are we being attacked anywhere else? Uh, we have some arbs there. We need to get a good critical mass of arbs again, though. Let's get another couple of bombard cannons running once we... Oh, there's more food. I okay, got that. Oh, and there's a dock we can take out, too. Okay, maybe take out the fence with one cannon shot. Okay, cannon, go, rescue the princess. Got faith in you, cannon. Let's turn on the farm queue, chop some more wood, uh, mine some stone, mine some stone too, build that farm. Oh, there's still a tower there. Um, crap. Don't die. Okay, we took out that ship though. I guess we have to take out that tower too, and maybe that dock. Taking out that dock would be useful. Okay, all those unbuilt palisades, let's just get the wood back. And let's just make some more Bali and Arbs. Oh yes, the princess is now ours. We can take her back. And did you go for that dock? Free the princess. And so how do we get more of these Gepetto warriors from purple? Where do we need to take her? To their castle, maybe? Where the flags are? We don't have spies, do we? Uh, I don't think we need either of those. We're not really being attacked anymore. Or maybe we are. Uh, oh, Gash, do not go after the princess while she is trying to get back to the castle. Okay, uh, more arbalest up here to kill that, please. You have made me a very happy man. We are with you, Sanjata. 
Oh, yes, they're attacking now. Okay, now how do I build more Gavetta warriors from you? I am grateful that you saved me, Sunjaka. In return, I want to offer you the help of my warrior sisters. Is this still infinite? Did they leave that bug in there? Only 14. Wait, where did you come from? They have a trip there. Okay, how do I get more? Oh, there's 14. Oh, wait, now we can train Gabetta warriors. Oh, okay. We'll need to train them ourselves. I will need a hundred of them. Well, time to delete things. And we'll need to mine gold. Mine gold there. You guys can be deleted too. Leave the bombard cannons there. And let's just start on that Kibeto production. <laughs> and we'll see how long it takes us to amass a hundred of them. That's why we have times eight speed. Okay, we'll go to hit our pop limit and see what that brings us to. I have a good group of them, at least like 60. So yeah, this is definitely better than infinite, even though I guess you can... Kind of still get infinite. Alright, the problem is going to be food. Let's keep track of this. So we have some lumberjack. Oh, we have some idols. Oh, and you guys can also be deleted. You guys can be deleted. You guys can be deleted. Okay, we have one group of 60 there. We have 20. Okay, we're almost there. We might need to delete some of those vills. Forty and sixty. Okay, that is at least a hundred. Let's go and finish off red now. Oh, you guys are idle. Oh, you can't attack my eco if I don't have an eco. Send those hills back to farm or something. You guys can come over here, and I guess we'll try to just take out the castles with Gabetta Warriors now. I think I lost my trebs. Do I have Bombard Cannon somewhere still? No, I think I lost all my siege during our times 8 speed attempt. There we go. And now uh, you guys are attacking. Oh, green's attacking too. It's a very light attack, but an attack nonetheless. Let's see how these better warriors do against ships. And at the same time, oh, I lost my siege workshops. At the same time, you castles start making trebs. Because we have wood, actually. A better hard counter to show tells, maybe? Don't have enough range really to deal with the galleons, only six range. We need to kind of debate them closer to the shore so we can fight them. Halb doing there. And we'll run them that way, then come from behind with these Gabetta warriors, and you guys. Run up. Okay, farm. And do we have, we do have a treb. 
We just take out those towers. Okay, delete that mill. Let's just delete all those mills. Why not? I think we're at zero villagers right now, but that's okay. We have 100 Gavetta Warriors and we have several trebs coming. Actually, lots of trebs. Oh, we do have some villagers yeah, still. Oh, and there's a scorpion we can take out. A couple scorpions and some trebs. Let's dive in and take out the trebs, actually, so they don't kill our own trebs. I don't think we want to fight underneath that castle. But we will take out the trebs and fall back. And actually, maybe we can bring the warriors down. Where where did those trebs go? I wanted you to attack that ca castle, or at least that tower. And we can take out towers, I think. Yep. Oh, yes. Look at that. And trebs. Here, take out that castle. Tower will go down pretty quickly. Maybe what we need is, like, spread formation so they don't all get targeted at once by the castle. Let's try that. Other trebs come in from behind. You girls come in from below. Take out the trebs. And take out the castle. And that should go down pretty quickly. Take out that cavalry unit. Oh no, the camels are coming. And they're all spread out and not in formation. Okay, it's taking out that castle. And we use these trips to take out the final castle. This would probably go faster if we didn't lose all of our warriors to those castles. Well, now we have lots of trebs. That's all we really need. Looks like this one's just about wrapped up. Maybe I'll train a few pikemen at that barracks. We don't have food for pikemen. Um, do we have a dock? No. Just farm out here in the middle of nowhere. You can take out the tower. It's focusing on green or yellow at the moment. Just a few volleys and it'll go down. Actually, let's protect the trebs. take out the rest of this camp. This is actually kind of difficult now because I deleted all my eco and I'm at such a low population. I guess I need to add it back. Oh, I had villagers chopping down there. Let's go chop up there. Oh, is that berries? Yes, I can use some good food economy right now. Perfect. I really needed some berries. So you guys attack that, you attack that. And the rest of you go for the castle and don't die to arrow fire. We need you alive. Okay, that tower's down. Go for the castle. And we'll have to wait for all of them to pack up and move. There we are. Up, oh, there's a few camels coming. Please take it out quickly. These get better, won't last forever. Okay, so you trebs attack that siege workshop while you trebs attack that tower. We'll move forward, try to keep you protected. Oh, they have their own treb ready to fire at us. Actually, I think there's an achievement for killing a treb with a treb. Let's get that right now. Oh, I have a treb on the water. Maybe a Kibeto can take out the galley. Okay, that treb will most definitely die to these trebs, I hope. Please. Oh, yes, it's packing. It's standing still. Shoot at it. 
There we go. You can get that achievement at the same time. And all of you have to pack and then repack because some of you are out of range. And you don't all fire at it. You're just scouting. Okay, only one more base to take out. Tech ground there. Take out the scorpion. I'll just pack and get ready to move on. I'm gonna add more cabetos now. Oh, we have lots more trebs that I've been sitting here. Letting them idle. Let's get for that tower. Another siege workshop's down. Let's finish off that house. Don't just run away. Take out their pop space. Can't hurt. Oh, more cubettos. Leaving you idle there. Any other idle military? Another treb. Oh yes, yellow. Help out. Perfect. Now they're all coming forward to attack the Trebs. Maybe the Trebs can fire at the ships. And the Trebs can serve as a makeshift wall to prevent the camels from attacking. But at the same time, these Trebs will move up and target those docks. Let's target that. Oh, no. Oh, that's so difficult when I can't target the Treb without packing all of my Trebs. I should learn my hockeys. Uh, no, protect these trebs. There's so many towers here. Is there any more gold to mine? There is. Mine that gold, please. And fire. Well, I've, I've managed to lose 100 Cabetal Warriors. <laughs> and I hope I can win this with just trebs now. But I don't think I can. These trebs will retreat. Uh, maybe I'd spam pikemen. Retreat. Actually, skirmishers are probably better than pikemen. Oh, I still have camels there? Okay, I don't know how I'm going to take them out. Especially now that we have almost zero wood and literally zero eco. Well, I was hoping they wouldn't have had that big of an army left over since they weren't attacking, but apparently they did, and now we don't have gold. So what we do is we quick build a castle here to protect the Trebs. And eventually we try to use skirms to kill uh, some heavy camels and a scorpion. Uh, I don't need the house. And we are out of wood. Do we have any minerals up here? We didn't mine, yes, that stone. There's a bit of wood up there we can chop. But now we're also out of wood. And that castle is not going to go up. That's going to be a doubt castle. Oh no. Don't don't lose it now. <laughs> Please give me some more infinite Cabetta Warriors. Okay, I think this many elite skirms can make it work. Where's the injured one? Go for the injured one. Okay, yes. Split. Oh, but now you're coming up behind us. You, you have to be able to deal with two heavy camels, please. Oh, no, now there's more army. Uh, so that castle is no good. This is actually getting quite, quite bad. What's the TC's fire arrows? I need wood for that. Um, I don't have a market anymore. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna lose all those trebs. Oh no, I'm not. Because I can run them to a town center. Okay, the skirmishers are dead. I can train two more battle warriors and have four. 
you can maybe mine that stone. No, we do. what we need is a way to get wood. Mine that stone. And run to the town center to stay safe. You guys go up there. If only that trade post was alive. And if only I could finish that castle. Actually, you guys, nah, I can't finish that castle without some more cover. Oh, but what they have attacking it is crossbows, and what they are abandoning... ...is the crossbows attacking it. Oh, the crossbows are moving forward. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I can sneak some villagers over there. Go for the castle. Go for the castle. And if everything here decides to attack and die to the town center, I'll have two trebs left. And we'll intercept them with our skirmishers. There we go. And we'll just really long distance chop some wood. Actually, this wood down there has the best wood to chop, and we gotta cancel that now. And we have a hill advantage. Nice. Oh, they're microing. Okay, a bit of a throw here at the end. But we're making it through somehow. That lumber we'll camp up there. Okay, now we have some gold. And we have the castle. Okay, I don't care if you attack green. They can hopefully fend for themselves and I'll distract their army. Oh, you scorpions please die soon so I can move the trebs. Maybe sneak the trebs down here. Get them up there. And now we've mined all the stone. Okay, maybe uh, we don't even have a market. I was gonna say we sell all the stone in a desperate attempt for gold for some more good battle warriors. And then now the docks are taken out, try to push uh, like push on this side to take out the barracks first and that range before dealing with the tower so then we have like actually four production buildings but that's more production buildings than we have right now let's get a bit of wood from there and we can also get some wood down here <laughs> you guys on garrison and come forward to mine this gold. There's more gold and actually a tiny bit of wood there. Okay, let's set the gather point someplace useful. Okay, you, you, and you all in one group. Where are the trebs? Okay, trebs are there. And we can back that up with some skirms. And yeah, we'll come across an attack on this side. And while we're building up, we'll just speed things up again. Okay, maybe a few more ranges now that we actually have some wood income again. I would like more than just two trebs. Those ranges take a long time to build. Oh, no, don't. Don't die. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> uh, don't kill the trebs. No. No, keep them alive. Don't kill the trebs. Please take out the camels first, I guess, in the showtel. Run around behind the range. Okay, the trebs are safe. We'll build two more and a few more good warriors through the TC upgrade, just in case we lose everything again. Now we're down to one treb. And we still don't have a market. We need a market, and then we'll sell resources. Oh, they have an onager that is... I haven't seen one of those before, and that was very scary. 
Oh, I'm lucky I saw that before I killed everything. And now we can fish. We will fish and use fish as our economy. Make you poop out of you. Now just spam skirmishers, they seem to be doing all right. Whoa, that army is big. They're really spamming showtails out of that castle. Okay, retreat with the trebs. Maybe get some galleons. They don't have any... Now they have arbalest. Oh, they're rebuilding a castle there. Build it forward. Okay, um, maybe a TC. Over here, somehow. Okay, um, quick gate. Keep the treb safe. Yes. Okay, the treb is safe. That's the important thing. I do not like those onagers. But our allies, Light Cav, can take out the onagers for us, right? And... No, it can't. No, it most definitely cannot. Split, getting close, and fire at it. Oh, there we go, Light Cav. You got this. You got this. And... Okay, it's not going to fire. You can shoot there. Okay, and we still have... At least some troops left. Uh, the problem is going to be the Shotel Warriors. We need to attack in coordination with our ally. And bring... Do we get Cannon Galleon? Oh, that would be nice. We don't have the wood for it, though. Lumber camp over there still. The lumber camp there. Nope, we can't move out. Can't move out. Okay, make more villagers there. Bring the trebs back. I would love to be able to train more Gabetta warriors. Stand underneath the castle and kind of fight on the hill if we can. If we need some demos. Have the galleys coming from behind. How are they making all of that from only those buildings? And no, you're killing the trebs again. You guys need to run, kill that Shotel. Well, we've lost my army again. And go for those crossbows. Like garrison villagers. We could use murder holes, maybe. Okay, so this is the plan. Sell that. Try to mess up more battle warriors. You two also make villagers. Okay, you can ungarrison there and repair. Good, you'll be safe to repair the hatch. Use all the stone we have repairing. Oh, uh, there's a hole. How is there a hole there? There literally is not a hole there. That camel just glitched itself onto my <laughs> foundation. Okay. And let's start fishing like we wanted to do earlier. Oh, you have some good wood in your, the back of your base and also some berries. Looking for those berries. Okay, so we know that they are going to have a rather large army. And to get there, we're going to need to just 
build up our own forces for a bit. So we'll try this fast speed again. And we know that while we're doing this, they also are going to be building up their army. Okay, we lost some Gvetos there. And we're just going to put everything up into 125 population. And then we'll go for one more big push. Okay, there you go. Hop capped. And I hope this works. Okay, um, big army that one demo ship. Uh, no, don't go for those trebs, no. Okay, now that that army will be flattening mine. Yeah, well, that's just more pop space for Gavettos, I guess. Do we have heavy demo? We should do that. Okay, these late game. Malian navies are not that good. No bracer. No final upgrades. We can do cannon galleon though. And then greening, there we go. Where did the trebs go? Oh, they're in front. Somehow. <laughs> okay, they just ran past my trebs. Okay, hopefully that demo helped me. You guys need to jump onto that siege weapon before it flattens my siege weapons. There we go. Okay, I think we got this now. We need to take out those barracks to stop the halbs and that archery range there. How do they even have the houses for this? Is it all for those little huts inside their village? And all the cannon galleons. There we go. Your boats maybe try to take out the guard tower. It's probably a big mistake to attack a guard tower with boats though. Okay, maybe attack that barracks. You're not going to be in range. And we're going to lose. Oh, how do they have this much army? Okay, goodbye, Trebs again. This is why we need 100 Gabetto warriors. They, they have legit no villagers. They can just put all of their pop space into this ridiculous army. Uh, how are we going to deal with this? Well, they don't really have any siege. Uh, so, so what do we do? Try to protect Cannon Galleon somehow? Um, now my gold's going to be hit. You guys just come back here. Well, I think that's the last of their crossbows. So now they have literally no counters to Gabetto Warriors. And I hope that Pierre Gabetto will work now. So we'll use these Cannon Galleons. We can stick them right in that water there. Ew. Where the shallows don't reach. And hope that they're not taken out by the Siege Onager. Up oh, that tower did reach. And now we're gonna have to dance with that Onager. Which might be hit? No, these cannonballs are just too. We'll have to get in close. <laughs> okay, well, we took it out, at least. We don't have a gold for a cannon galleon. I was thinking we'd won a lot earlier, but apparently not. And that TC should shoot by itself, but... I guess it's not at that point. Okay, lots of stuff down there. If we could... Uh, even that tower wasn't taken out. 
I mean, if we could take out those towers of the cannon galleons, then we could go for the barracks and at least take out the threat of the halbs. At this point, do my allies have markets? Can we trade? Oh, they do. They have a market there. They have a market there. I mean, we could trade. I don't want to have to resort to trading just to beat infinite production buildings. Make sure we have everyone. And that tower should go down. Maybe one more volley after this one. Alright, here we go. We're going to get them, and we'll have cannon galleons firing at them too. And we'll get them into a narrow choke point where we can just fire with two battle warriors. We'll have cannon galleons firing at them, and this should do it, I hope. Try to get the skirmishers to go for the arbs. The skirmishers go forward for them. Take out the help. Oh, they still have another range for trading herbs. I don't like that. Now, if we can take out that range, that will finally end the herbs. And then the barracks for ending the halbs will be next. Need a couple more cannon galleons. Oh, they've... Okay, um, dealing with those onagers will be risky. Uh, what? Yes, very risky. Okay, just dive in, take out the range. Take out the onager, maybe? Ah, uh, you got past. And another siege onagers. Where are they getting those resources with no villagers? Okay, if we could take out the Hussar, or take out the barracks, then maybe we could spam Hussar. There's no way to build here, is there? I have to do it on the cracked dirt. And we don't even have upgrade. Well, we don't even have. That's why I don't have upgrades. I don't even have a blacksmith to go to. Now we're going to be completely out of gold, as we've mined pretty much all of the gold on the map. Get past it, and yes, took out one siege onager. Take out that one. Okay, another siege on to go down. One more. And then we can snipe off that range. Oh yes, go. Go cannon galleons. And now time to snipe off the range. Yes, and now the barracks. Maybe two more volleys and it goes down. Ignore the cannon galleons, please. Oh yes, they're ignoring them. That means it's demo ship time. Okay, that is the best thing that could have happened, ignoring the cannon galleons. Oh, nope, now they're not ignoring them. One more volley. Now get back, get back, get back. We lost one. Don't get trapped. Okay, good. Oh, we have a heavy demo. We'll spread them out. Maybe get their attention. We'll dive in on that siege onager again. Boom. Oh, don't, don't use yourself on one show tell. Where are you going? Okay, we can get them right here, right here, right here. Go, 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 go. And... Okay. That was pretty good. Oh, and we lost attention down here, though. And can we get maybe one more hit on that barracks? We have so many idle villagers right now. We can stem the flow of Halberdier. If we take that out, yes, one more barracks. We don't even have any armor for them, but oh well. Let's go there. And what are we going to do with all of these idols? Chop wood there. Okay, we've lost the cannon galleons, but maybe we can snipe that barracks with Cabeto Warriors. There's wood there. There's wood there. And there's wood down there. D 
do that armor. Forever would actually be real nice. Okay, we're gonna try to run in with Light Cav and Jabate while we run in with Gabettos and snipe that barracks. Yeah, yeah, go focus on these Light Cav running around. Don't focus on the Gabetto warriors who will kill your barracks. And you're going this way. Great, your range is too short. And okay, we got it. We've stopped the halves. We've stopped the halves. Oh, and now if we run by the coast, we can use that demo ship. Perfect, perfect. Run across the shallows. Yes, yes. Across the shallows, yes. Just like that. And boom. Okay, so one, two, three, four more production buildings, and we have no gold. Our last option is buy stone and sell it somehow. Fish, please. This map is, is this map legit completely out of gold? I wasn't expecting this one to take so long. I thought we'd want it back there, but I guess not. Oh, scorpions need to be taken out. Yeah, I'm thinking Canning Galleon is the way to go now. Even if we can afford, like, one of them. Okay, we can get two Canning Galleon. You guys do not lose yourself. Oh! Okay, lost that Sea Janiger. Okay, demo. Do me proud. Okay, well, the army is forward. Try to snipe towers with the cannon gallons. If we can use cannon gallons to take out that castle, that would be amazing. What I don't want to do is lose a war of attrition. Oh, don't lose to Sea Janigers. Okay, we lost one of them. Now we can take out that tower. Oh, don't die to the tower. We died to the tower. Okay, um, where are you going? Oh, are you going to attack? Green? Yes, they are not me. Oh, wait, there's still a tiny bit of gold there to mine. Not much, but something. Uh, what are we even going to be able to do now? Okay, hey, you guys. Oh, wait, there's lots of wood there. We should chop that wood. And let's build up enough stone so we can get another castle here. We have literally no gold income. I'm just worried about building the castle on the cracked dirt and them having some type of trebuchet. Let's build the castle here, which is hopefully not on... Oh, that sea genre could have just ended things. That is so oh, many Shota warriors. Like, yeah, yep, they already have a treb. Be a cannon galleon now. How do we get to that castle? I can't quick is that not go up. Okay, it does go up. Perfect. And now we chase down that treb with light cav. And the castle's already going down. But the castle can kill the siege on yours, maybe? Okay. Oh, the Siege Honor can kill its own Shotels, yes. And repair, keep it alive, just a bit longer. Maybe what we need is more, we can't even spam 
How do we deal with Shotel Warriors when we don't have gold? Is this even possible? I mean, we have the achievement already. Well, that castle idea is not going to work then. I mean... I can literally spam light cap for days. I guess we need crop rotation at this point. Maybe when yellow comes in, I can try to snipe something. With that cannon galleon. Maybe we need more stables here. Oh, stable. And we just spam infinite light cav. But nope, because they have heavy camels. That's not gonna work. Uh, whoa. We will likely also need pikemen and more blacksmith upgrades. At least do the attack upgrade. Nope, you come back now. And you guys are going to get massacred by that. At least we can counter the Siege Onagers with Light Cav. Maybe what we need to do is just mass up somehow a huge army of cannon galleons and try to go for some snipes. Or a huge navy of cannon galleons, that is. And by huge, we only have the gold for five. I wonder, can we even get to that castle from this area? If we could, then we could stop the Shotel Warriors and we might have a chance. I get back. Where's my decreased speed hockey? Okay, um... There we go, we can do one more. We'll have six Cannon Galleon. And we're going to be- Oh, there's stone down there! Perfect! That'll be nice. And we'll sail. Don't reform. Take it out. And one more. Oh, okay, their army is down here. Where they will kill my villagers. But hopefully not be at home to defend against the cannon galley and surprise snipe on that guard tower right there. And then that guard tower after it. And then that castle, which is on a hill. Ah, this is going to be rough. Maybe you won't see my villages fall down there. Oh no, you have seen it with that tread, probably? Okay, here we go. Maybe box formation, be all bunched up so we can get off a good shot. And go. Now retreat out of range. Okay, take out this tower means progress. Okay, now we have to dance with some more siege onagers, so let's get the light cab involved again. You guys can take out those siege onagers for me. There's camels that are not going for the cannon galleons. Okay, that's good. They're all going down there. Perfect. And sail past them. Oh, that's a lot of siege onagers. Get back, get back. Okay, light cab, there we go. Oh, you're sending camels which can hopefully take out the light cav. I mean the siege onagers. Go light cav, go. Save the cannon galleons. Yes. Yes. Okay, well now all the show tails are back home to kill the heavy camels. Okay, now all the Shotels are on these shallows again, so we won't be able to fight them. Oofta. 
We somehow need to kill that castle. And if we can stop the Shotels, I think we can deal with everything else. But this is quite difficult when we literally have no gold. Well, I guess maybe it's time to trade. Plan, uh, I think we're on plan J at this point, is to trade. We should probably also do guilds. We likely should have done that, like, right at the beginning of the map. We don't have enough food for guilds. Did I? Okay, my cannon galleon is still alive. That's, we had to put them in the water down there or something so they stay alive. Oh, now yellow is being attacked, and my castle here is under attack. Wait a minute, if you're down there, then you're not over here, I hope. You need to take out that tower. You can be deleted. Oh, wait, why do I have more Gebetto here? <laughs> when did you get there? <laughs> Did I break something and get more Gebetto? Is the snare just pitying me that I've spent so long that it's just gonna give me some extra Gebetto? Okay, and can... This entire thing will be... Do we have Siege Engineers? We don't, but Mason, we can't hurt. Oh, those Shotels are not paying attention. I can't get to that castle, though. Now, they literally have production from only three buildings. They're going to put everything we can into markets and trade. Which we probably should have done ages ago. Oh, did I lose cannon galleons there? I probably did. Well, I still have one. And they're not going to be able to hit anything else anymore anyway. fish up here. Okay, they're moving out of there. I killed my villagers down there. They killed my castle there. I'm not even going to get anything for selling stone at this point. I also need to be careful about selling wood. Because there is not much more wood left. buildings down here were nice and fun to take out when they weren't making army. Like legit what I think I need is 100 Gebetto warriors. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to establish trade and then we're going to build more Gebetto warriors and use the Gebetto warriors hopefully to fight camels and shotels. We could also go for Arbalest and Hand Cannon, maybe? Uh, so they're 45. Gebetto's are the cheapest on gold, though. <laughs> Alright, legit the best unit we can mess up right now. What else can kill that? They don't have to wreck any melee units, so cavalry or champions are out of the question. Those Onagers are gonna wreck Gebetto, though. At least some Gebetto light cav combination. Let's do architecture for our buildings. Get that out of the way. This is gonna be such a bad trade route. There's like a tiny strip of land leading to that market. And you villagers should probably not die. Let's just garrison you in this TC. Keep making Gebettos. I mean, it doesn't even matter that I kill that army. I mean, them attacking here is probably the best thing for me. 
See if you guys can go back down and mine that stone. Okay, kill that one Shotel. Uh, what I just don't want is them attacking the trade. Which they will now do when that castle is out of the way. Oh well, use the trade that we have and we go for... Oh, uh, they killed Yell- Oh, they- Don't kill the market. Whatever you do. And we're also gonna need siege weapons. I'd mix in skirms, but I don't think this is gonna be effective. Let's just see what they go for. They're going for the market. They are going for the market. We gotta protect the market. And their town center. They have a treb there. Okay, as long as we keep that market alive, first thing we take out is that treb. They could legit become defeated. Oh, but they will have a castle up soon. Just gotta protect that castle and somehow kill that siege onager. Okay, there goes the treb. We do have enough stone for a castle now. Uh, come down here again, I guess. And castle, please go up soon so we can hide inside of it and not lose all of the gabettos we worked so hard to create. And yes, inside the castle. Now just run around a bit. Let the castle be more effective. Okay, and we have almost successfully defended the trade. We are further from 125 pop than we were before, which is really what we're going to need. And we are running dangerously low on wood, and that market is running dangerously low on HP. These Gavettos are running dangerously close to a Siege Onager. Okay, we are going to need some type of castle of our own up there. So where are my idle villagers at? Castle on that hill there. And how many trade units do we have? One. Wonderful. Is that to restart the trade? Times eight again. Uh, dudes in the castle down here. Okay, there is legit. We lost the cannon galleon. I'll just suicide for that castle and hope this works. Go, Gabettos, go. I need to do some microing. I mean, there's no point to killing those onagers because they're just going to be rebuilt. Maybe we can run past each other and they won't attack the trebs. Mm, oh, yes, 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 yes. Go for those cabellos. Yes, they are definitely the threat. If we let their army come all the way over here and don't kill it, then maybe we can kill them. And then we spam... I mean, legit, probably the only trash unit with a chance against Shotels is Skirmishers. But if we don't kill them, and instead let them come all the way over here, then maybe what we can do is sneak the Trebs in to attack the cat. And maybe we can attack with the Gabettos down there just to debate a bit.
This has been going on way too long. Yeah, there's the heavy camels. Come down here, please. Don't don't bother about those trebs. Just come down here. And all those show tells, yes, 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 now chase the Gabetto. Chase them, chase them. Chase them back there to that low HP castle. Only the camels are coming. Maybe we can just do it. Just a massive... How many trebs does it take to one-shot a castle? That's a question for us. How many trebs to one-shot a castle? And if we, if we can take care of the showtels, then we can take care of everything else. But it's the showtels that are the problem. So we just spam pikemen. Okay, you're gonna come down here and kill my eco again. Thank you. As we, we know we can get trebs there without a problem, just by being sneaky. We can take that wood. As the army will occasionally annoy that. Uh, we'll occasionally ignore that area, just focus down here, which looks like they do it now. And how many trebs do we got? How many trade units? We have 11. And when those come back, we'll queue up maybe a couple more trade units. And more trebs. I want like maybe eight, and we might get two shots off. Eight trebs. Question is, what does Red's army go to do now? Up there attacking. Yeah, I should not have made that treb in that castle. Okay, what we should also do is queue villagers when we're this low on everything. Okay, next wave of trade comes back, and then we'll make one more treb. Yeah, I shouldn't have lost that one. Maybe seven trebs will be enough. Six. It's on a hill, though. Oof. Duh. The scenario was much easier when we had infinite Gabetto warriors and didn't have to deal with infinite Shotel warriors. At least then things were even. Okay, we are running even lower on wood. One more treb. Six, seven. Oh, we can have eight trebs. Perfect. That's the number I want to see. Okay, just finish off my ranges. Let's maybe build a couple more. Oh, I have a castle down there. Hello. Forgot about you. Let's just build a couple of random buildings around this area and hope that the AI focuses on them in lieu of actually attacking me. Okay. We we'll have eight trebs and then a few cabettos there. And we could also, I'd say we train arbalest, but maybe, I think we just need hand cannon because of their food and gold. We can't really spend wood on things that are not trebs at this point. And we have to keep our trade alive, 19 trade units. I don't know where the army is. Make a couple skirms there maybe. Uh, okay, as long as the army doesn't come up here. Okay. Will this work? Oh no, don't, don't send the camel that way, don't scout us. Do not scout us. Okay, well, Gabettos are somewhat fast. We'll need you to come down here to these this area and distract them. And please don't see these trebs. Yeah, there's... Oh no, there's a, they're going for our ranges though. They're going for our ranges. If we bring the trebs down here... Um, goodbye rangers. You were nice while you lasted. And you are going to need tons of battle warriors to defend you from that. Uh, okay. 
Sea Shadowgoose is coming for me. That's not good. As is that camel. Okay, but we can jump them with the Cabetos. Oh no, Shotels are coming this way. Get back with the Trebs, get back with the Trebs. We can't lose them. Abort mission, abort mission. You guys go take out that Treb for us. And you guys just run. Run away. Oh, but now we can start massing up Cabetos again. Okay, we, ha we have the massive Trebs that we need, but what we don't have yet is the massive Cabetos we need. And we also need to make sure that their army is distracted, which it kind of is. Okay, keep keep retreating even more. It's not enough. We need at least a hundred. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll make one stable here. So that then we can kind of spam like cap. Okay, you're going for the trebs. Please don't. Okay, now if we can kind of take them out one at a time. Okay, now we are out of food to... Okay, they're all down there. Now's our, now's our chance. Now is our chance. You stop all the Gabettos only from the top castle, please. You run down here. Attack that wall. Maybe you can jabate them. They have a small group there, but our Gabetto should be able to take that out, no problem. Uh, I'd say maybe... Now we have to rely on buying. Okay, go for a transport ship. Oh, no, don't engage them head on. Fire and retreat under the castle. Oh. Yeah, new idea is we will transport ship the Trebs. Maybe. Well, the, the transport ship will be our escape if things go mighty south. Which, oh, wait, they're coming from this way now. Um, crap, 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 crap. More Cabetos there. Okay, well, we, we're going, we're going. Okay, the Treb was taken out, so I think they'll be able to hold there. Only 23. Trebs, come on. Alright, you have camels there still, 25. Okay, just some siege on you should be able to hold. Uh, okay, this is going to be a big fight then. Yep, now we get the Trebs onto the transport ship and run them away. Go, 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 go. Okay, we kept the Trebs safe, yes. Oh boy. So many showtells. Uh, I can't even farm now. I had to come back down here to this stone. Oh wait, I have some idle Gabettos there. You guys can come up here. I have the trade now that I can spam Gabettos. Okay. Oh, don't go for my dock. Thirteen. Oh, there's some houses I can delete to reclaim some wood. The siege onagers don't worry me, it's just the trebs and now the villagers can take out the... No, they can't. But they can help. 
Because if you fire at villagers, that is not Cabetos you're firing at. One more shot at the villagers, yes. So, go, go get it, villager. You got it, yes. And now, now we're getting back up to Cabetos. We're almost going to be at full pop, as long as that transport ship stays alive. Okay, maybe we can sneak that army around him. At the same time, we'll come down here, and we'll kind of converge at this point. Okay, we're at our prop limit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bring this transport ship down here. Drop off the trebs right there. Sneak around their armies. And we have a ton of Gabetta warriors. Take out the treb. Yes, 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 yes. Go transport. Go, go, go. Oh, at the same time, Yellow's going to attack, and Yellow can debate them. Yes, and now the Trebs can go while they're going to the south. We bring the Trebs. Yes, Yellow. Yes, you are the best. And I will go right behind that wall, kind of on the hill. I don't know if this gives us a hill advantage. We have to get to that castle. Okay, we're getting attacked from behind. Try and retreat. Stay clumped up on the hill. Can't move you without attacking. Go, Trebs, go! Yes, you are in range. You can do this, Trebs. One big volley on the castle. One big volley on the castle. You can do this. One more. One more before the siege goes fire. Get it. Take out the castle, and we'll take out the Shotel warriors. The ho! So close. Okay. So close. We needed, like, one more Treb there. It's close enough. Maybe we can finish it off with Gabettos if we run in and snipe it. Now we have good Gabetto production, though. Uh, maybe come back down here. But we still have a lumber camp. I'll get up to 125 Gabettos. Uh, with those 20 trade units, we can more than sustain two castle Gebetto production. Once I get a good group of 60, and we're almost there, then we run in and we snipe the castle. Oh, we can even do it as yellow attacks too. Oh no, but with someone's attacking the trade. I should repair that market with whatever villagers I have. Repair the market. Fifty-three. Fifty-seven. Okay, sixty Gabettos. And we'll have more coming behind it. Okay, while the siege comes up, we'll run past it to avoid the Onagers. Okay, let's just speed this up as we run across. There we go, their army's down there. We're going to run in from up here. There we go. They have some showtails on that hill, but that's only 500 HP. And they're distracted. Go, take out the castle. One more volley. Yes, yes, Gabetto Warriors, yes. Objectives have changed. All we had to do was defeat the castle. Like, legit, with that huge army of trebs we had earlier, we probably could have one-shot the castle. But instead, we played another two hours. Oh, and they're deleting stuff. Yes. Yes. Now uh, that That is the definition of infinite unit spam right there. Like the objectives are utterly beaten and Sumanguru is on the run. We are victorious. Now we know that Infinite Gabetto Warriors was not a bug, but rather was just what they did to make the map fair. Oh my. I, I was 
like I thought we had finished the mission when we were down here and they had stopped making units. But then they all of a sudden they started making lots of units. And we I deleted my economy so I couldn't match their production because I needed a hundred of these Cabeto warriors. Okay, so that was a tough achievement. The armies crashed against each other. They buckled and wrenched, bristling serpents coiling and writhing amidst the clamor of weapons and the rumble of hooves. Many times, the Malian soldiers faltered, but at critical moments, Sunjata would ride across the lines to rally his men, inspiring them to push on and prevail. At long last, the Soso onslaught slowed and their resolve began to fade, sensing that the tide had turned. Sumanduru abandoned his men and fled into the mountains. At the sight of their leader in flight, the exhausted Soso lines collapsed. The celebrations lasted for days, with the most bountiful feasts ever seen. All the kings of the coalition gathered to proclaim Sunjata, their Mansa, the king of kings. Mali had become an empire, and Sunjata, its emperor. Okay, let's check that military score. They killed 1,700 units. I killed 1,116. Most of those were Shotel warriors. I, uh, look, look, at, look at that economy. They had zero resources collected. Other than a tiny bit of gold, zero resources, and they made all of that. <laughs> okay. Somehow, I actually still enjoyed that, but never again. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you are not as exhausted as I am, and I will see you next time.